Sunshine Spirit Courts from the home of the Spirit Courts, Bukina took South Africa. Now on this edge there's a very fine example of what typically happens at this deposit. We'd have a core quartz crystal surrounded by a blanket of smaller ones. Interesting about the Sunshine Spirit Quartz or the hematite, girthite coated spirit quartz as we have in this case would be the the, the matrix. The, the quartz matrix is a milky, almost a milky quartz. So I don't often find the likes of amethyst, etc. associated. A little bit of contact around this edge. Actually a little bit of the coating gone and exposing the, the inside, which would be a milky to clear quartz. From a display point of view, I quite enjoy this angle. And uh, what, what we're going to focus on here, you'll see this, it's slightly, it's totally overexposed now as we sing it. Formation there of quartz running into the main head over there, going across here. And of course the coating is pretty interesting, it's almost, uh, a, a versus a yellow, it's, it's almost a mustard, mustard green color. Uh, that's all a little bit overexposed. This is pretty much an accurate indication like that of the, of the actual color. So if you have it on a turntable, you'd have it going around like this. Going around like that. So there are various aspects. Even this is rather appealing, this particular section, taking it in at this angle. And of course the, the black on top would be a younger hematite which hasn't oxidized as has the hematite underneath which has turned into this, this mustardy uh, color. As to chateauancy, I think we may have some minor chateauancy on some of these faces, oil and water effect. You have to look very hard to find it though.